Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today I'm doing a cook and chat video and I'm going to show you one of my go-to meals um, after a long work day. I just got done work, as you can see there. I've just closed my laptop, pulled some stuff out of the fridge. And this dragon noodles recipe is one of my favorites because it's yummy hot and then it makes great leftovers as a noodle salad. It's really easy and it doesn't take any time at all, which makes it perfect for a weeknight. I will put the full recipe with all the measurements down in the show notes. And these are the ingredients that you need. I use two carrots, small-ish, um, half a green pepper, half a red pepper or more, depending on what you want, one small onion, toasted sesame seed oil, sweet chili sauce, and some soy sauce. I use the low sodium. And then some three minute chow mein noodles. They cook really fast and that's what I like about them. You're also gonna need a frying pan with a lid and a pot of water for the noodles. The first thing I'm gonna do is put in my noodles to start to cook. Make sure you make a mess and have all the small noodle pieces go all over the place. But I'm gonna put in two bricks of bees and then I'm gonna set my timer. Oh, that was satisfying. And then, <laughs> clean up your mess. One of the reasons, like I said, I love this recipe is that it's super easy and it makes leftovers and it's good both hot and cold um, because I just, I try not to cook every single day. I like to have, you know, yummy food, but I, um, I don't want to have to make something big every single day. So I like things that have leftovers so I can eat them for lunch the next day and probably for dinner again because I live alone. Now, if I'm having my kids over, um, I never have leftovers because they take them home, which I love, so that's okay. So while that's doing its thing, I'm just going to peel and kind of match stick up my carrots because I want these veggies to cook fast, but still stay a little bit, a little bit crunchy. It's nice to have the veggies kind of a little bit crunchy. I <laughs> wanted to chat a little bit about my decluttering video that I did for the first video of 2021. And maybe, I, I didn't think it would be controversial to show, you know, what I was doing and how much makeup I had, but I got some interesting comments. One of which actually came from a male friend of mine. He said, basically, I don't understand why women need to put makeup on. Like it's, it's ridiculous that they think they have to please men by wearing all this makeup and doing all this stuff. Which led to an interesting discussion between the two of us because um, I have a very different point of view on that. And I'm curious to know if you agree with me. The part that bothers me is the fact that he basically implied that women only wear makeup, only color their hair, any of that stuff to attract and please a man. I'm single and uh, I still put makeup on every day and I still shave my legs and color my hair. And I find it interesting that it's okay to, um, it's okay to comment on the fact that a woman puts makeup on or colors her hair or you know, I guess even dresses a certain way. You rarely hear anybody talk about somebody. Whoop. Okay, just hold on a sec. I'm just gonna drain these noodles. And then I'm gonna show you whew, the trick for keeping your noodles from sticking. And that trick is a clean tea towel. This one's freshly laundered. And what you do is you spread the noodles out on your tea towel to kind of dry up a bit while you're making the rest of your meal. And I know it seems weird, but I promise you it works. It actually makes the noodles not stick. It's a little steamy. So we're just gonna leave those sit there while I get the rest 
of the meal done. Not to make a big deal out of it, but the fact is, I think many women, if not most women, um, do wear makeup, color their hair, you know, do that sort of stuff because it makes them feel good. I had gray hair start to come in in my 30s. Not a lot, but especially at the front. And I see no reason why I should let it go gray. I, I see no reason why I shouldn't. But it's my decision and I do it because it makes me feel better if I don't have just patches of gray on my head. It's, it's the same with makeup. No, I don't need makeup. Nobody needs makeup unless, you know, I guess some people might need it. But, um, but I like makeup. It's fun. You get to play with it. And I don't think any, anybody, man or woman, needs an excuse to wear it. I just thought that was interesting, that comment that I, that I received. And I'd love to know what you guys think of that. You know, why does anybody put deodorant on? Why do you shower? I mean, we all do it because it makes us <laughs> nicer to be around, but also it makes us feel better. And I got to tell you, when my hair looks good, I'm having a good day. If, you know, I put a little makeup on and I feel better about myself, I'm having a good day. I don't see that that is, there has to be somebody that I'm doing it for. It's just, it's just what I like to do to feel better about myself. All right, so I've uh, added my onions and my carrots to my frying pan and on a low setting. And I'm just sauteing those in regular oil, not the sesame seed, uh, toasted sesame seed oil. And I'm just gonna do the same with my peppers and throw them in there. So I've had a couple of people ask me about the trays that I store my hair and accessories and makeup in. I actually bought those from Ikea years ago. Uh, they were, I've had them for probably 10 years and they are these wooden cutlery trays that Ikea had. I don't know if they still have them and they work really well because they have a handle and they're the perfect size with the little compartments. So I quite like them, um, but I've used them for a while. So unfortunately, I don't know if you can still get those. Right now I'm going to add these in there. Just saute them up to whatever doneness you really like. I'll just put the lid on that and let that saute almost steam a, just a little bit. In the meantime, we can make our sauce. So to a dish, uh, I want you to add four tablespoons of soy sauce. I really do like the low sodium one because then I can choose how much sodium I put in my recipe. Having said that, I do like things salty. I know that's bad, but it's just the way I am. So four tablespoons of that, then four tablespoons of the sweet chili sauce. This recipe is based on a recipe by Budget Bites, and I will link the original recipe down below as well. Two, three. In her recipe, she uses sriracha sauce and egg and butter and she doesn't uh, put any veggies in there. And she uses brown sugar, whoops. And a, the chili sauce that she uses isn't sweet. But because I use a sweet chili sauce, I just skip the brown sugar. But you may like her recipe better. Full disclaimer, I am not a chef. I don't even play one on TV. <laughs> I'm just a home cook that likes good food. So, mm. Always taste your food. Oh, that's good. And so to this, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the toasted sesame oil. You can skip this, but it, this adds so much flavor to the dish. I, I, it makes the dish, there's no doubt about it, is the sesame oil. So I really wouldn't skip it if I were you. If you, you know, are oil-free, 
like I say, you certainly can, um, or maybe just put, you know, a teaspoon or something in there. But for me, it's just so good with the toasted sesame seed oil. That's it. <laughs> now you're just going to put everything together and give it a toss and your dinner is done. It's really that simple. I'm going to go get the noodles. I'm going to warn you in advance. I always make a mess. That wasn't so bad. That actually came out pretty good. There's nothing on the floor yet. Yeah, just a little on my stove. So you can see how they're nice and separated, which is great. I mean, they're still a little, you know, sticky. They are cooked noodles after all, but all right. So that's, that's in there. And now I'm gonna add my sauce. Turn this up just a little bit because I want the sauce to get hot. And then give it a toss and that's it that's literally all there is to this it's delicious um, it's super easy to make there's very few ingredients and if you wanted you could add tofu to this or something like that and like I said it makes a really good cold noodle salad as well and that's it so there it is I forgot to mention in my ingredients, the toasted sesame seeds. You don't have to put them on, but I think it's kind of pretty. I think it looks good. So that's my recipe for dragon noodles. Really easy, like I said. Here is what's left. So again, I could have that for two meals because it's just me. Um, and this is what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. For me, I like to have super easy and filling meals and ones that have leftovers for the next day or two because I don't want to have to cook every single day. I hope you like it. I hope you try it. If you do, post a picture on Instagram and tag me because I would love to see how it looks for you and what sort of things you add to it. You can really add anything to this. You could add snap peas, um, water chestnuts, really any vegetable, but certainly any vegetable that you would put in you know, sort of an Asian stir fry would work really well in here. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you stay safe and I will see you on the weekend.